when it comes to improving engagement of a sports website, design is almost, if not always, the first thing that comes into mind. When the truth of the matter is that design's not always the answer to shortened sessions with users. A majority of the time, it's probably something to do with the user experience. T O B. Hey guys, welcome to Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and athletic business owners learn how to build lasting legacies beyond the game. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we'll be discussing how your website can hack into better engagement with user experience. We'd love for you guys to tackle that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. There's no denying that thanks to the growing competition in the sporting industry, design has become the main selling point of most sports organizations. Brands think that as long as their website has an eye-catching user interface, it's enough for users to pick them over their competition. But in reality, great UI or user interface design can only go so far. So, is user experience more important than user interface? If you already have an established website, then you're well aware of the difference between user interface UI and user experience UX. With UI focusing on the visuals of your site and the UX taking care of its feel and overall accessibility. Now, does usability of your website trump over how well it actually looks? Yes. And here's why. It's kind of a balancing act, sure. Good UI is what attracts users in the first place, but it's hard to ignore bad UX. Some people could forget unpleasant UI design when the sports website itself is useful to them. People can forgive you if your website's overall design is not that fancy, but sports fans never forget about bad user experience. When you secure great UX design, you can rest easy knowing that all the hard work you've put into your UI design comes into fruition. Because at the end of the day, keeping your fans scrolling through your website is the main goal of having a site in the first place. Google tracks your bounce rates, the number of people who go back to the SERPs to find another site. This data that they gather about your websites can ultimately affect your ranking on the SERPs or search engines, therefore creating a major impact on your website. Ultimately, UX has the ability to influence several working parts of your website, from its SEO performance down to the number of leads that it generates. But just because UX trumps UI over a few things, this doesn't mean you should stop paying attention to your UI design. The reason why there are various UX articles online is that too many growing brands make the rookie mistake of focusing too much on their UI design. All of the resources for their websites go solely on whether their design is aesthetically pleasing as they want it to be. The thought of their site's accessibility is forgotten amidst all the visuals that they have to think about when the reality of the matter is that they should pay equal attention to both the user experience and the user interface. By making sure that everything stays balanced, you can optimize your website further. Your UI design will surely grab the attention of users and your UX design will make sure that they stay on the site longer. So how do you hack your way to better user engagement with better user experience? Let's say that you're one of those brands that spend too much time on your user interface. How can you get your user experience up to speed? We'll talk about a couple of those tips. For starters, you don't want to skip the user research. A lot of people think that the process of web design and development doesn't require research, but the truth is great user experience design is founded by concrete user research. 
for your sports website or athletic website or, or even just lead gen website, you have to have user experience. You need to know who your users are. Similar to finding out your fan base when building your brand, you need to take some time to figure out who your website is serving. What's their demo and what products are they really using? These things will help you get a better idea of how you can improve your overall user experience. While this may seem like such a tedious thing to do, it's a crucial step in achieving great user experience design. One of the common mistakes that people make is they just don't keep things simple. With a variety of components that you can add to your website, some brands tend to go overboard on their layouts. They ask their designers to bombard their websites with various images, scroll throughs, pop-ups, things of that nature. When users start to actually visit their website, they often find themselves overwhelmed by everything that they see. And when there's too much to see, they start having difficulty finding what they actually need. Keep in mind that user experience design focuses on the overall user experience. This means making sure that you remove anything that makes their time on the site less pleasable. Remove anything that you don't think serves any sort of productive role in the overall user experience. Additionally, it's important that you do your best to keep your website responsive for every other device available in the market like iPhones and Androids and the various sizes of tablets. See, unlike before when people only use their laptops or computers to scroll through the internet, they can basically access your website anywhere. This means that your website should stay consistent regardless of whether people are viewing it on their phones or their computers. Part of user experience is just basically the flow. User experience is one of the first things to be prioritized during the web development process. But sometimes companies tend to forget about its existence when the web designing stages come into fruition. They start prioritizing the look of their website instead of the flow of their website. And when this happens, your UX design ultimately suffers. To avoid this from happening, you should keep a clear framework in mind during the design of your side of the website. Keep in mind that amidst all of the other working parts of your website, the user flow has one of the most crucial roles in its success. If people get what they want easily, the better it is for you. Just like a game book always changes, so does your website. You want to conduct regular audits and reviews. Some companies make the rookie mistake of skipping reviews and audits out of the assumption that they're not as necessary as most people think, when the reality is these reviews are the key to keeping great UX design for your website design. Bugs and other similar issues are part of the deal of having a website, and the best way to combat these small things are by conducting regular audits and reviews of how everything's flowing. These little steps keep your website in great shape and ensure that your website's entire system stays strong. When we avoid reviews or audits, we tend to keep letting the same issues affect our success. And over time, these issues would snowball into something that could cost you your website in the long run. As they say, prevention is better than the cure. The same thing applies to your online presence and your website. There are several ways for your website to expand the advantage it offers to your business and brand. But one of the most effective ways of doing so is by focusing on the user experience. As time when viral things fade and trends change, having a strong foundation really still matters. This means that your sports website and or athletic website should be developed to last. If you need more help figuring out how to elevate your sports website design, make sure to check out the rest of our videos on websites. We hope you guys loved today's video and if you want to learn more about the great solutions that can truly change the game, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. Now this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.